Well, hello everyone, and I am Jackie Bowman Coach, and I am here today to present to you the Inner Voice Podcast, so welcome. This is where high-achieving women like yourself can maintain massive success and keep God in the center of your life. Each episode is just eight minutes long because we're very, very busy, and it's going to be around one theme or a myth or a lie that you might believe. We're going to bring in the scripture of Christ and we're gonna give you some action items. So why don't we go ahead and let's dig in to what we're gonna talk about today. Today's theme is energy. Boy, was I struggling yesterday with energy. Whew, I completely felt wiped out and uh, I needed a reset, right? And so maintaining high energy is really important when we have goals. And so, and in life, and when we're spending time with our family, so maintaining high energy is really, really important. The challenge is that we get burned out or we think we get burned out and we lose energy or we're in a very low energy or we do what I call falling off the wagon, right? I ate a bunch of carbs. I drank beer. Like it went crazy for the past week, right? So all of those things were setting me up to cause me to have low energy on a Monday, which was terrible. So in order to achieve our goals, we need to maintain this high energy and you know, you've heard those things before about, um, I love Simon Sinek. So one of the things he said is, it's, is people don't buy what you do or buy what your product is because of what it is. They buy why you do it. And what's really interesting about that is last episode we talked about dreams and visualization, but um, the myth here and the myth understanding is that we feel like we get burnt out because of our job or, or, or we're working on something really, really hard over and over and over again. But really what's happening is our energy is getting taken from us by doing other things that are not in alignment with what our goals are, right? Or not in alignment with what our purpose is. So think about it this way. When you're really working on a project that you're really passionate about, that actually gives you energy. I mean, even if your brain is hurting and your hand is hurting from painting or playing the violin or whatever it is, if it's something that you are passionate about, it actually gives you energy, right? Even if you're tired, it gives you energy. So it's not that we get burned out from all that we're doing. It's that we forget why we're doing it. We forget why we're doing it. We forget to have that vision in front of us and the big why, right? So keeping that big purpose in front of you is really, really important. And I know last episode we shared about dreams and visualization, so I don't want to repeat myself, but keep that stuff in front of you, right? But the other thing I want to talk about today is energy deposits. Energy deposits and energy withdrawals. So even though I'm expending energy by making this podcast, it's actually fueling me and it's a deposit of good energy because I'm in my passion zone. So even though it takes effort to get the tripod, turn on the camera, get over all of my fears, get on here and do the podcast, which seems like work, when I'm doing it and I'm in my passion zone, I exude energy and actually by doing this, it's making a deposit in my energy. So whatever you're selling or whatever you're doing for your job, for your occupation, for your creative zone, when you're in that creative zone and you are in your talent zone, you are actually, even though you're working, you are feeding your energy and you're getting energy deposits in yourself, in your heart, right? Because you're helping people in whatever realm you do that, right? But let's talk about energy withdrawals. So, or energy debt, right? Because we can also go, we can make all of these deposits by doing the things that are in alignment with our goals, alignment with our passion, and in alignment with Christ, right? And then we have these other things that we say yes to, or that we do, that are withdrawals. So I want to talk about the two different types of yeses, because let's face it, whenever you say yes to something, you are always saying no to something else. If I am saying yes to a committee meeting, I am saying no to something else. And it could be a various variety of different things. It could be time with my kids. It could be time by myself in the bathtub. It could be time with scripture. It could be time 
of me drinking uh, red wine out on my deck, right? But I'm always saying no to something else whenever I say yes. So the question is, looking at your schedule, what are all of the things you're saying yes to? Now, if I say yes to this podcast, it's work, but it's a deposit. If I say yes to a committee meeting, it's work, but is it in alignment with my five-year vision? Is it in alignment with what Christ wants me to do? Is it in alignment with my energy around it? When it's not in alignment with your energy, it's actually a withdrawal. So there's two different types of yeses. There's the yeses that actually are deposits into your energy, and there's yeses that are withdrawals. So you don't wanna go into energy debt when you're saying yes. So that will cause us to create some standards and to say no a little more often. So what I want you to do is just really evaluate what are you saying yes to and is that in alignment and is that actually a withdrawal of your energy or is it a deposit and gives you more momentum, more energy, right? The other thing I wanna talk about is contamination. What is in your environment that is negative that you need to get rid of, right? Contamination. Maybe there's someone you need to just apologize to. Maybe there's someone that you need to forgive. Um, maybe there's some just messes that you need to clean up, right? Um, maybe there's a bill you need to pay. Maybe you have a medical bill that's $110 and you just haven't paid it and it's just a little nagging thing. Try to make a list of some of those things that you need to clean up and that can also protect your energy. So creating some uh, boundaries when it comes to my yeses and my noes, and also cleaning up some things that are maybe contaminating my energy around me. So how can I protect myself, set up some boundaries, and stay in a positive vibration, in a positive energy flow, and stay aligned with Christ? So, so here's a both and statement. You know I love both and statements. I can be highly respective respected and a productive contributor to society. I can be a giver and I can say no to things that are not aligned with my energy flow or my goals or Christ, right? So you can do both. You can still be a giver and say no. So I love that one. Um, I've got a few scriptures I want to read. Uh, Jeremiah 31, 25 says, for I will satisfy the weary soul and every languishing soul I will replenish. So again, turning to Christ when you are in that low, Christ is going to say, love you. I love you. Love you. And that's exactly what I did yesterday. I took a two-hour bath yesterday. It was over two hours. <laughs> and I needed that replenish. And I prayed and I listened to some worship music and I just needed to reset. But you know what I did? I gave myself permission to just put my work on pause and not feel guilty about it, which was amazing. So again, um, for I will satisfy the weary soul and for every languishing soul, I will replenish. So I love that one. That's Jeremiah 31, 25. And then the next one I wanted to share with you was um, Philippians. Let me find it. I had it on my screen. <laughs> um, it was Philippians. I can't find it now. 2.13. Let me see. I should have had it queued up here. Um, Philippians 2.13. For it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. So I absolutely love that. So those are two scriptures that I really felt kind of went along with this energy. And what I would encourage you to do, these are your action items, is find out what yeses you've committed to that you need to get rid of. Um, because they're not aligned with your good and your purpose. And then eliminate the things that are just taking withdrawals from your energy. We're going to probably talk again next episode about energy because I've got so many good things. Um, but I wanted to wrap this up today. Um, so next time you're feeling low energy or you're burned out, let's reevaluate what are your yeses? What are you aligning with? Pray and listen to God in your new inner voice because together that can make all the difference. So if you liked what you heard today, please hit subscribe to this podcast. If you'd like to personally connect with me or register for my next free live webinar, 
Um, it's called Live Better, and it's all about realigning yourself with Christ. If you'd like to join me on that or find out any more information, please visit JackieBowman.Work. That's J-A-C-Q-U-I-B-O-W-M-A-N dot W-O-R-K. Thanks, everyone, and have a great week.